Welcome back to Todd Audio. Today I'm going to revisit a recent song I recorded called Am I There Yet on piano and vocals. And I'm going to show you some things that I did for the microphone placement and some of the insulation techniques I used to make it sound a little bit cleaner on the acoustic piano. Now the piano I recorded in this video is just the one I grew up with it was just a Craigslist buy, nothing fancy at all. The brand is Stark, which my tuner told me is just a beginner piano. Um, and it's a spinet piano on top of that, which is the most difficult type of upright piano to record. And with that said, it's not even the best. So it really brings about a challenge in recording acoustic piano. I've tried a lot of different things. Got pretty good results out of this, so I'm just going to show you basically holding the camera and walk through where I placed some of the sound panels and where I put the microphones. I used two condenser microphones in this recording for the piano and then also another one on vocals which I won't get into on this video. This is just mainly about the piano. And then I'll show you, you a clip from that video where I did the live recording take on my song Am I There Yet? So you can see how the piano sound turned out. So let's get started. First I'll cover the mic placement. I used an NT1A right here. Upside down so it doesn't reverberate as much off the ceiling which is a standard 8 foot high ceiling. And it's here to catch more of the bass on the other side. I've got an MXL 990, same thing, I put it upside down, especially since this room's carpeted. The carpet's just going to be less reflective than the ceiling up there. Um, I find to get better results that way for this type of thing. And they're just both facing the soundboard on the piano here, which I removed the front panel so that everything's opened up and exposed. So it's just wide open and both of these microphones can catch the sound there. So after I've done that, I started playing and doing some tests. And the bass was a little bit thick, pretty muddy in some spots. So I messed around with these remote panels that I made. And put one behind here because the wall back there was making sort of a chamber-like effect that was kind of mudding up the bass coming from back there. So that helped kind of clean that up. Another thing you can do if you have room is just pull out the piano further to get it further away from the walls and that type of thing. Then I have the couch here because I'm dealing with a smaller room here. Again, I could move the couch, but I have these panels here. I just placed them up against the couch to kind of block out anything reverberating off that leather behind the couch. And I found that I got a lot cleaner bass sound out of that. I still did have to go in and do a little bit of EQ to equalize things up a little bit, but that's basically it. And on that clip, as I mentioned, I did a little bit of EQ to clean up the bass a little bit. On top of that, I added just a touch of reverb, and it was pretty much good to go from there. So that was the best I could get out of this old piano behind me. And I hope you learned something from this video, or I was able to give you some ideas. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.